I don't know why somebody would want to run 150 kilometers a week. I think in Lanny's case, it's passion, it's persistence, and the courage to try and be better than everybody else in the world. So quick, 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 quick. Okay, so really think, good running is light and quick. The first few weeks working with Bruce, I quickly learned that every movement he was making me do was purposeful. Where we started was Lanny needed to learn how to crawl, then she needed to learn how to walk, and then she needed to learn how to run. Lanny 2.0, it's the version of Lanny that is paying attention to all of the details that she has to not quit on her nutrition. She has to not quit on her sleeping. She has to not quit on resting and stretching and strengthening and focusing on technique and all of those one percents that build those hundred, there's no quitting on those. I chose the Great Aloha race as my first race back post-op because I'd had success here before. There's not any guarantee that my body is going to do exactly what I want it to do. You never get that guarantee when you line up to race. This is going to be a process, and sometimes the goals are just to line up on the start line and accept that that means that other women are going to run faster than me that day and beat me. You don't get to my level of sport because you're okay with finishing anything but first. And right now, the process is lining up knowing that there's a stronger likelihood that I can't beat them right now, that I will but right now I can't. I have absolutely no idea what it's gonna take for me to line up at the 2020 Olympics. The last Olympic cycle, I was worried about other things getting in my way. This time, I'm building from scratch. I have a different body, a new body, and the only thing I know to do with it is just run forwards and hope that it gets me there.